Okay, hi guys. Uh, welcome to the shop. This video is just to give you a little demonstration of uh, the nose wheel steering that I've set up on here. Um, this uh, huge steering arm has presented a few little challenges of getting this thing to work. So uh, this is what I've done to, to uh, make it go, hopefully. Um, you can see right over here we got our servo tied in with uh, a bell crank to uh, power our Kevlar strings. Okay, now the problem because this height is so great here when you retract you develop a lot of slack in the uh, Kevlar line so you have to have a way to take that up. So what we've done, or what I've done, is uh, install some bushings and springs. You can see there the, uh, the springs that are on here. These are uh, made up of uh, some springs I got from McMaster Car, which as you can see stretch a long way without a lot of tension on them because all we want is enough pull to uh, take up the slack uh, when this thing is inverted we have to pull it basically up so that's what the springs will do then the uh, to keep the, the lines in alignment what we've done is add some nirod type rods, I don't think that's going to, yeah, there it's in focus, nylon rods in there with a nylon washer to keep those um, lines from butting up against the former. Now when you can see here as this retracts how the spring keeps that line laying on there and follows through um, the track and keeps the line taunt and then the little spring washers of course keep it from coming off the guides so in full action you can see the springs go down here and take up the slack in the line Let's see if we can get a little closer there there we go so you can watch that action as we bring the gear up and bring it back down. And we also have a nirod bushing right here which uh, covers both lines to the bell crank. So. It appears that this is going to work, you know, you never know when you get it actually in practice. But um, it should keep, uh, keep my lines in line here, keep my lines on the bushing, use the spring pressure to pull the lines down and keep a little uh, pressure on the lines so they don't get all tied up and, and cause a problem with the retracts. Okay, so we'll see how that works out. Thanks for watching.